What's up guys, it's your boy Rabna, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to make Spanish buildings just like this one. So as you can see it is quite a large building, there are a lot of complicated steps towards it and I'm going to be going through all of it in this video. So uh, in this video uh, the aim of it is to just teach you how to build buildings similar to this. I will be doing a similar block for block tutorial uh, for this building within this video uh, but the aim of the video is not to tell you how to build this house in particular it's to tell you sort of the styles the techniques I use for it and what you should do if you want to build something similar to this so if you guys want a block for block tutorial then I will post that happily uh, but my first thing is just to build a house uh, like this so I'm going to be giving multiple sort of uh, tips on how to build something like this uh, ideas for uh, alternative palettes, uh, scale options, and just general uh, tips on how to build something like this. So let's get right into it. Right then, so before we get into the build itself, we're going to have a quick look at some palettes uh, for sort of how the build is organized uh, in terms of the floor plan and uh, just sort of some tips before we get into the build itself. So, looking at the palettes, as you can see, I've got five here. We're going to be using this one here, but we're going to have a quick look at the other ones just so you have some other ideas for what you could use. So, this is a sort of pink one. So, as you can see, it's mainly made out of uh, pink blocks. So, it's got the uh, pink concrete, the concrete powder, and the wool as a main uh, block here. It's got a lot of quartz in it, so it's got quartz pillars, smooth quartz stairs, and the quartz bricks. And it's also got uh, sort of like an outline of smooth quartz for the roof. And on the actual roof itself, it's got uh, acacia slabs as well as cut copper slabs. So that's sort of like a mixture for the roof. So we have these on all of the other ones. And that just makes the roof look more interesting and have a little bit more depth to it. So uh, as you can see, uh, the things we are looking at here are these sort of this sort of uh, corner bit here so it's one quartz block then you miss a block then another one then you miss and then again uh, and that's just a really good pattern to uh, have in your build if you want to turn an outline but you don't necessarily want it to be like this so you don't want it to go all the way up uh, in our case the main wall a block back sort of like outline here so this wouldn't work for what we're going to be doing but if you just want to build a larger style building with sort of this idea in mind then that is a pretty good idea so one of the design things is in sort of the corners here sort of going off of here we've got the stairs the upside down stairs and then a slab going along the top bit and in the block sort of behind that slab and on that layer in sort of line with the stairs we've got another sort of different block so in this case it's the uh, stripped uh, crimson wood as you can see here we've got several other ones which we're going to be going over uh, in our sort of like as we do we've also got a base here so that's another thing we want to do and as you can see the glass is one block back from the wall so going on to this one this is a sort of uh, red version so as you can see it's got never bricks as the uh, sort of like base uh, I would recommend if you are going to be trying out your own palette obviously mix and match uh, some people will you might not like the never, never brick so you may want to use another type for example the stone or the deep slate so i would recommend mixing it up if you sort of have any problems with the palette so this is sort of got like a dark oak trim it's got uh, obviously red walls with a mixture of the red uh, concrete concrete powder and wall blocks as well as having a mushroom block here the brown version uh, as the sort of under roof uh, sort of block and as, as you can see, the roof is made out of black stone, so that's the bricks and the polished uh, block itself. Next, we have a sort of sandstone one. So as you can see, it's got a base layer of oak, and the walls are made out of uh, a mixture of smooth sand, stone, uh, sand, and uh, sandstone. Uh, if you are going to be making, making sort of a build using sandy blocks, I would recommend mixing in with the smooth sandstone, the sand because they work really well together and there isn't a huge difference. So if you just want to put them in the walls, then that is a pretty good idea. Uh, as for trim, we have got some uh, end stone. Uh, again, I'd, you can obviously change this. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I just came up with these palettes sort of as quickly as I could. And as you can see, our under sort of uh, 
under trim thing here is jungle wood. The problem with this is it does kind of look like it's a similar block to the uh, brick and the granite which make up the roof and that can make it look like it's going sort of like sort of the roof goes down a bit further than it's supposed to. So uh, for the windows on the last one we had sort of brown uh, glass but on here we've sort of changed it up a bit and are using trap doors so this is a good sort of type of uh, window obviously you don't have to use glass we use fences over there and this just makes this sort of palette stand out uh, here we have a sort of quartz uh, cyan one so this is using a lot of the new blocks so we've got the tuff with some stone as a base layer so this is the one we're going to be using for our build We've got sort of cyan mixers in with the walls. We've got quartz pillars going up the sides. Smooth quartz as sort of like an outline for the roof. Uh, sort of the under outline is made out of uh, copper, the oxidized version. And uh, on the top here, as you can see, we've got the uh, sort of uh, tiles, deep slate tiles, and the deep slate bricks. Uh, those are very good blocks uh, to use. Uh, for this sort of uh, build because they have a really nice pattern for them and they're not quite as dark as for blackstone fit so they do work quite well in this context so this one this one here is a sort of yellow one so it's got a, a deep slate brick uh, base it's got yellow uh, mixture of walls so this one is terracotta uh, wool uh, wool and concrete so that makes a pretty good mix it's got spruce pillars uh, at, with uh, strip spruce wood it's got spruce as sort of an outline and it's got uh, soil soil under the trim uh, base. Uh, for the windows it has got uh, spruce fences so they just sort of stand out and don't make it sort of just like glass as normal. And for the roof we've got a mixture of uh, polished granite and uh, weathered exposed cut copper. So those are some palette ideas again. I'd recommend mixing them up, so obviously you could switch some of these around. I just wanted to show all the blocks that you could use, but obviously a lot of them don't really work particularly well together. So, now let's quickly have a look at the sort of sizes and what I'd recommend for uh, each type of build in the style. Okay, so these are sort of the bases for uh, your Spanish house. The way I make, sort of plan out my builds is I have, I have like a main rectangle, as for base and then I have multiple sort of like smaller rectangles or squares or circles like coming off of this and that just makes makes it very easy for you to sort of make a main sort of building and have a consistent shape and sort of roof pattern throughout so uh, I normally do three house sizes so in this case we've got a small a medium and a large obviously you don't have to use these these are the ones i use and i'd recommend however obviously it's your choice you can do any sort of size you want and uh, this is just sort of a, an idea you could do smaller bigger it's, it's obviously your choice but i would say that this may look pretty small but it is a lot bigger when you add on sort of different parts to it add on different rectangles to this main square and we'll have a look at our like our sort of base in a minute so for the small one this is 15 by 9 so 15 along here and then 9 up so obviously for, in our case uh, we don't have an a frame so it, it can be square it doesn't really matter which direction is the front because the roof sort of goes inwards on all sides and you'll sort of see that when we have a look at the build itself but I'd recommend this one for if you're in survival maybe starting out and don't have too many resources this is the scale we're going to be building so it's 17 by 11 so this is you know fairly large uh, I can we can obviously fit quite a lot of uh, other sort of rectangles on the side of this and it is a decent size uh, inside uh, as I mentioned before it isn't quite as big because we've got sort of uh, so this wall will actually be one block back so in this corner we'll have sort of for example a wood pillar and then we like miss a few blocks and we place another one on uh, that block like there and then the actual wall will be in this area for example so this is one we're going to be doing and it's for one I'd recommend so if you're starting out this is the largest one this is 25 by 15 so this is pretty big uh, as you can see it is a bit like longer it's not quite as square and even on each side so obviously if you want to create a more sort of squarer or sort of more equal uh building i'd recommend using just sort of a little bit scaled up version of this one 
but obviously this is a very good size it means you can add on a lot of extra sort of bits on this side at least and it will mean that it will look uh, pretty good so now let's have a look at the floor plan the palette that we're going to be using and what we're going to do for our build right then guys so as you can see i've put down all of the blocks that we need for this build as well as a simple plan which shows everything that's in it so uh, first of all we're going to look at all of the blocks here so as you can see we've got uh, quite a wide variety here so there are I mean, probably like 20 or 30 blocks here, some of which are going to be used more than others. So as you can see, our sort of base blocks are going to be the chiselled uh, stone, a stone brick wall, uh, tough, mossy cobblestone and moss. Uh, our sort of like under roof sort of uh, air block that we're going to use to sort of split up for layers is going to be uh, copper. So this is the oxidised cut copper. It doesn't need to be waxed. Uh, I've got a texture pack that makes it uh, so in the inventory you can see that it's waxed, but you don't. It doesn't need to be waxed; it's in its final stage anyway. So for that, we've got the cut, the normal block of copper, as well as the stairs, which are going to be used for the windows. Uh, we have got uh, quartz bricks. We've got uh, quartz pillars, smooth quartz stairs, slabs, and an iron and iron trap doors, which we are going to use the sort of. Uh, again to split up the sort of uh, different layers as well as for sort of like a roof uh, thing uh, we've got a rain like our range of cyan block cyan concrete the cyan wall and the cyan uh, concrete powder for our roof we are going to be using uh, deep slate tiles as well as deep slate bricks we're going to be using white stained glass for the windows we're going to be using uh, azalea leaves in the normal and like flowering form and we're also going to be using some dark oak uh, doors and trap doors so those are pretty much all of the blocks we're going to need uh, there may be a few that i've forgotten but those are the like main important ones uh, and if there are any forgotten ones then on the screen now it should be showing all of the blocks and their numbers uh, so it should be scrolling down right now again like what I said at the beginning, this isn't aiming to be a block for block tutorial. It's just showing you sort of how to build a house in this sort of Mediterranean, Spanish, Italian style. Uh, but I will be doing a sort of block for block tutorial just because I know most of you guys don't actually want to like learn how to build them in general. They just want a house for one simple thing. And that's what I'm going to be showing you here. So as you can see, this is our uh, sort of plan here. So as you can see, we've got several uh, little things coming off of the main uh, cube sort of square uh, rectangle here. So we've got a few large ones. So the largest one is this uh, block here. So this is going to be sort of a main uh, sort of front area. Uh, our second largest is this thing here. So this is going to be like a balcony. As you, so as you can see, it is slightly curved. On the screen right now, there should be all of the uh, numbers you need for sort of how long each of the sides are uh, in general and that should help you do it this blue uh, bit here this dark blue uh, square is going to be a tower and we've got a green sort of one of a similar size but it's just going to go up one layer coming off of that we've also got several more sort of uh, just sort of bits coming off the side here so we've got this yellow one and we've got this uh, pink one here so these orange bits going off here, they represent sort of roofs or porches. So there isn't going to be an inner sort of floor here. Uh, there isn't going to be like inner walls or anything. So it's just going to be sort of a balustrade going around here. And that's just going to create sort of like a little open space uh, that will make, mean you, you'll be able to like look out of it. So uh, obviously if you're going to be building your own of own sort of base of this all i'd recommend is take all of these individual parts here and just put them on at sort of different angles so in a sort of a test build i did uh, before this tutorial i had this bit sort of here on this side so with that main square bit here it was two blocks shorter sort of going uh, this way so instead of being so this sort of bit here was cut off and it was like going along here and i had the tower sort of connected to it uh, on this side uh, this bit was still here but this bit was in the middle on that back side there and we had a simple sort of like uh, again like porch balustrade just going around here so uh, that's pretty much all we need to know before we get into the build 
So we're going to go through a time lapse. There's going to be a video of me building it uh, in the same speed, uh, sort of going along, uh, like by the side of it. And I'll also be sort of slowing down parts of it so you can see what I was doing for some of the more difficult bits. Uh, so yeah, so let's get right into the build. Before we get into the time lapse, according to my analytics, only 12.9% of you are subscribed. So uh, if you're if you've got this far in the video then uh, consider subscribing, obviously I'd recommend watching a few of my other videos before you do so but if you decide to subscribe now, it's completely free and you can unsubscribe it whenever you want to so, let's get right into the time lapse Right then guys, so as you can see, we're starting off with the build by first off building these stone pillars so as you can see, uh, we are building them sort of every few blocks uh, and then uh, sort of filling in uh, the bits between them with uh, tough. Uh, later we're going to fill them in with moss and uh, pol wait, a mossy cobblestone. So as you guys can see uh, we're doing that now and we've got two layers so we've got one which is going to be sort of an outer layer where the uh, balconies sort of porches are going to be and an inner layer where the uh, actual building is going to sit on. So we're going to start that now. So one block in we're going to build a copper layer so, as, so this is uh, where it's going to be for now, so it's made out of the copper and uh, that's one block in and then on the outside we're building up, we're building with the uh, the, uh, the quartz bricks, we're filling in the sort of porch areas with the uh, copper and uh, in front of with the quartz bricks we're adding in sort of little uh, sort of like arches using slabs and trapdoors, the iron trapdoors and they look pretty cool. So building up four blocks with quartz pillars uh, on top of the quartz bricks, we are going to fill in the block behind it using uh, cyan, terra, uh, cyan, cyan concrete, so this will create a really nice colour, and that's four blocks up with the pillars, and then on top of that again we're building up with the copper, so it looks pretty nice I think. Uh, adding in some arches, so for these we're going to be using uh, upside down stairs as well as trapdoors to create quite a nice arch, uh, sorry about that, that was just it lagging out a bit. And on top of these, we're going to again add in the bricks and do exactly the same pattern below using the slabs and the trapdoors uh, above it. And again, building up uh, with the uh, quartz pillars like this. However, this time the building is going to be slightly smaller. So as you can see, the pillars are going in slightly different positions because there are going to be uh, balconies uh, in that back bit there, which we just filled in, as well as uh, that, this front sort of circular bit there. Uh, so that's just going to uh, make it a little bit more interesting and add a little bit of depth to the build. Uh, as you can also see, we've also added one there. So, uh, replacing the pillars there, we're going to be adding in some uh, diorite walls. Uh, getting rid of that bit there, that's going to be a little roof, uh, a little bit lower down. And as you can see, we're just building up from here. So that was me trying to uh, change it up a little bit, but I decided not to. So again, adding another layer of the copper, exactly the same thing as we did for la the layer below with the arches and then the uh, sort of like slab, stair sort of combo on top of it. And as you can see, we're all just filling it in. It looks pretty nice. Uh, so this build is uh, very sort of like depth worthy. And now what we're doing is we are adding in slabs. So those slabs are placed on the outside of the uh, quartz brick. Uh, so just slabs and then in between them uh, we're placing iron trapdoors. Uh, in this back bit here we're adding a tower, so as you can see it looks pretty good, we're just adding another layer to that uh, bit there. Uh, now what you can see we're doing is we're just going to fill in this roof, so it's just a slab going up at a time using the deep slate uh, slabs, they're looking pretty nice I think. Just building up like this, just going around, uh, I'm going to sort of do a slower flyby later so you can have a closer look at all of these parts uh, if you're stuck. And as you can see we're going to be building a little bit of a flat bit here in a minute, just there, because otherwise the roof would go up funny and obviously you can do that if you're going to build something like this. Now we're adding a little bit of a quartz trim, uh, so this will just make the roof uh, obvious where the bits start and end and it will just add a little bit more depth. Adding in the roof on top of the tower, looking, which I think looks pretty nice. Uh, adding in another roof there, again using the same technique with the slabs and trapdoors, sort of like an overhang underneath the slabs. Now we're adding in the sort of roofs for the porches, so we're just doing exactly like a very similar thing to what we do up there, just no sort of inner walls uh, on the arches. So we're just building it all along, 
and we're going to carry on this part uh, along here so it should sort of connect up and create sort of like a larger sort of lower level so as you can see we're just going around here uh, in the sort of bottom corner as you can see we're using a trap door instead of a full block and that just gives it a little bit more shape and now as you can see we're just building some stairs using the copper uh, as and sort of the stone as a pattern there just uh, as you can see we're just mixing up the uh, copper so instead of using the just the cut copper we're mixing in some of the uh, just normal copper blocks and soon as you can see we're just going very fast you can see properly and we're just filling in the rest of the uh, sort of copper with all of those different patterns there so now what we're going to be doing is we are going to be adding in the uh, windows so the reason we're doing this before detailing the walls is we are going to be using cyan uh, concrete and if we do the windows next then they'll just fall and that'll be really annoying so we're not going to do that so adding in all of these windows as you can see uh, they're pretty much very consistent really we're adding a few doors to these balconies and they look obviously pretty nice so we're just going around uh, fixing it all up uh, if you if you can see here underneath the sort of balcony parts we're uh, adding in some sort of arches with some trapdoors you can kind of see the bottom of it there and obviously they look very nice so now we're detailing the walls just mixing in uh, cyan wool and uh, concrete powder in uh, we're not going to use cyan terracotta because it's grey for some reason I don't know why that is but that's just how it is we're so just mixing it in just placing some random blocks in uh, although this is a block for block tutorial, I'd recommend just mixing in random bits of these blocks because there's no way you can accurately sort of like re uh, rebuild it. So just mix it in randomly. And as you can see, the build's almost finished. Now we're just mixing in some deep slate bricks in with the tiles just to give it a little bit more sort of interest on the roof. And I think it looks really nice. Uh, deep slate is such a good new block. It's really nice to build with. And as you can see, uh, this just really makes the build uh, pop, just gives it a little bit more depth, makes it look a little bit more rugged, because obviously it, it will have some wear and tear. Now we're just adding in some quick doors uh, in the sort of areas we marked out for them. And I think we're going to be adding in the windows now. So as you can see, they're one block back from the stair block we placed there. And they've got white glass inside them to make them stand out. We're now adding in our, our, our leaves, so as you can see, they just cover up like the entire bottom bit uh, next to it. Uh, in the balconies, as you can see, we also put them, but we're going to be putting some iron trap doors over them. And that is kind of really the final details that we're going to be adding. We're going to be having a closer look now, so uh, just final panoramic around the, view, the build, and let's have a closer look. Right then guys, so as you can see, we have finished uh, building our Spanish house. And it looks uh, pretty cool, I think. I think we can say that it is very, like, it looks really nice. The colours are very cool. I really like them. Uh, obviously, it's very green. It's got a lot of really nice, like, dark colours in. It uses a lot of good blocks. Uh, it is very expensive, however. So, obviously, this one might not be great for survival. But it does look very nice. So, some things that you might have missed in the time-lapse. So, of course, as you can see, underneath all of these windows, we have put in some uh, leaves, so for three blocks beneath. For the windows themselves, uh, on the top here, uh, most of the time we use a copper slab, and then at the bottom we use a stair facing upwards, and the white stained glass is one block behind it. Uh, other things are, of course, uh, sort of the arches and the windows, so as you can see, sort of a, a bit above the copper is a slab uh, and then a trap door and then another slab and then if it's just two or just one then it's just two slabs and then for the arch it stares into uh, trap doors and it just goes like that for the bit going into the roof it's slabs sort of like in the corners on top of these uh, quartz bricks and then it's just uh, trap doors for the rest of the way and then of course in the corners uh, it is just trap doors and with another trap door on top I'm just going to quickly do like a fly around so you can see where all the windows are. Uh, any other, another thing you might have missed is sort of underneath here. As you can see, uh, we've got some like trap doors covering up the, uh, uh, the, the copper. So just trap doors for this. It's pretty simple really. And they just cover it up and sort of create a sort of like nice little square pattern which I think is really nice. Uh, other things, uh, really, there isn't really that much else. 
uh, obviously it all looks very nice uh, it's pretty green a lot of good uh, views inside of it I did change that window over there so that is a little bit different because uh, I couldn't fit in a window since it's one block back because there's also a door there uh, so yeah um, so that's pretty much the build done uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video I had a lot of fun uh, making this building I'm pretty proud of it uh, obviously it is quite complicated so if you have any questions if you've made it this far then make sure to join my discord there aren't really that many people on it but I'm there are lots of there are talented builders a lot of my friends are on it and they're pretty good so obviously if you have any questions or anything then go on there you can speak to me in person uh, and all of that stuff uh, follow me on my other socials in the description uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to if you've enjoyed this video and i'll hopefully see you uh, in my next one so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you soon